Hey guys, it's Henry Rogers with The Daily Caller. Henry Rogers from The Daily Caller. We are outside of uh, Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez's office here in Washington, D.C. And we're here because Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez randomly uh, last month pushed for a $15 minimum wage uh, for all employees, including tipped employees. Yes. A couple of weeks ago, uh, the congresswoman appeared with uh, Restaurant Opportunity Center, the One Fair Wage Campaign in New York, held a press conference where she bartended for an hour. Uh, and in that time, she managed to call all of us in the service industry indentured servants. My name is Ross Cohn. I have been a tipped employee in Washington, D.C. for the past seven years this fall. Right now, we are, uh, have been faced with a dilemma of a restaurant group trying to come in um, um, not from D.C., not working in D.C., but um, trying to coordinate how we get paid. We, the restaurant workers, don't want this. The idea that ending the tip wage system would benefit us as workers is just simply not true. Uh, she's on the complete wrong side of this particular issue. Her positioning with both Rock, One Fair Wage, and the elimination of the tip credit is completely wrong. In other locations where the prevailing minimum wage is the same as the tipped wage in those seven states, uh, predominantly on the Pacific Coast, uh, service charges are instituted, uh, hours are cut for staff, jobs are lost, restaurants are closed, uh, or iPads are stuck at tables, uh, in turn, again, killing our jobs entirely. You know, imagine coming to an industry, um, you know, owners who've been running a system the way it's been going, and then saying, you have to increase one of your costs by 700%. Beer would cost, you know, it would have to go from $4 to $8. So, I mean, something crazy like that. And that would take a, a hit on the restaurant, right? Yeah, and it's, uh, DC is a small city. I mean, what would stop someone from going to Virginia or Maryland? We're not doing with as many large conglomerates, slightly over 90% are small business owners. Um, which wouldn't be able to keep up with that and just destroy what we have going on here. It's important that legislators understand that it's we, the workers, who are standing up and speaking out and saying, we do not want this. What brings you to uh, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez's office and what were you planning on saying to her or, or saying to her if you do see her? Hopefully she would actually uh, let us try to explain our situation, what we've done. You know, she was in the past a bartender. The restaurant that she worked at, a super famous restaurant called The Coffee Shop in uh, New York City, ended up closing this year and the owner Millette actually referenced the major reason that he closed the restaurant was due to the raise in the minimum wage. This potential raise would in essentially cut our earnings off at the knees. We heard from the protesters, now let's go inside the office. Uh, we're not allowed to film inside so I'm gonna go ask if she's here. We're gonna see if she's here, if we can talk to her. We're gonna go around and we're gonna be looking for Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez to see if we can find her to speak to her about these issues in, regarding the restaurant industry and a $15 minimum wage for all. As you heard, just from a bunch of uh, restaurant industry folks, they don't like that. So after hours, hours of searching for Miss Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, uh, we have not found her. You can see the Capitol's behind us. No sign of her anywhere. Where is she? I have asked for all of their communications team's emails, phone numbers. So hopefully they'll respond. And uh, stay tuned, folks. But as you can see, the restaurant industry is not happy with AOC. They are not happy with her at all. And I think you're going to see a bunch more protests happen like this uh, throughout the summer. So stay tuned to The Daily Caller. Like up, subscribe, all of that. Do it now.